Hello, this is Wes. I'm going to go through and UV map this model, and I'm in Silo 2. The first thing I need to do is lay out UV seams around my model so that I can unwrap it, so that Silo knows how to unwrap it. I'm going to start off by cutting off the head. Just I'm in edge selection mode, so I'm just going to select these edges here. Switch to paint selection mode. Selection mode. Selection style is paint. And I have the head cut off. I can go up to materials. Mark UV seams. So once I do that, then that UV seam is gonna then that that edge is gonna be blue, and that's gonna tell Silo that I want to cut the head off there. So next, I'm gonna select this edge through the back of the head. I'm gonna select the start edge then maybe an edge up here and then hit alt e on windows and that'll connect the edge again i'm going to go to mark v seams uh, add a seam here now you'll notice when i select an edge on one side it's selected on the other that's because i have symmetry mode turned on and that i calculated the symmetry for this model I'm gonna, let's see i'm gonna go back uh, maybe i'll go down just go down one edge. Not sure how that's going to look. But that should be good enough for the head. Silo should be good enough to unwrap that, including the ears. Even though we have this geometry that goes back in like this, we might have to clean that up a little bit. That won't be a problem. Next thing I'm going to do is cut off the arms here. And all I did was select one edge and hit Alt E, and that selected the the ring. So I'm just going to go to Mark UV Seams. Now we have the. And I'm not going to do the hands since that's going to take too much time. So I'll just cut the hands off here at that edge and this is a cylindrical uh, portion of the model and we need all we need to do is put one seam along the back and my and uh, silo is gonna pull it apart and it should it should unwrap it really nicely uh, just select those two mark and mark those and we can see the arm is done. Now the legs, we want to chop the legs off. So I'll just select that edge, select that edge, select that edge. And then uh, go in here, select that edge, mark that seam. Now the body, I should only have to put one seam down the back here because I want the front to be completely flat so that there won't be any seams along the front. I'll just put the seam down the center of the back. That should make it so that the the UV the seams in my texture maps will look really good. I'm just gonna bring it down that far. That should be good enough. Now the legs are pretty simple at this point, so I should just be able to put one seam down the back, and that they'll unwrap the legs so there won't be any seams along the front, and I can put paint a lot of details on there with my textures, and it should look pretty good. Let's see now that that loop went all the way around and I don't want that so I'm just gonna have to manually actually I could put one right here and act that did all my work for me so I'm just gonna go like go to mark seams and I might bring this seam all the way to the front like this that might help it unwrap a little bit easier and the detail down here you'll never see it so Having a seam there doesn't really matter. So at this point, I think I have all my seams. And the next step is just go to materials, and create UV proxy. And I can go to display, viewport, camera, UV 2D view. Oh, I think I have to select my model. So we'll go back to here. Select object selection mode, which is F. And now we'll go to Material, Create UV Proxy, and it worked. So the first thing, I'm not sure why that models, the eye models there. Oh, it when I selected the this model, I had selected the eyes also. So I just needed to select this mesh, but that's okay. Your UV mo your UV proxy in Silo, they give you a 3D view, which is kind of fun for visualizing your UV maps, and you can also edit your UV maps in this 3D view or in the 2D plane, but 
I rarely find that I actually use this view, so I'm just gonna oops, I'm just gonna switch to my UV 2D view, and I'm gonna open up my paint displacement tool because I find that editing UVs with the p displacement paint is the absolute best way to edit UVs. I'm just gonna switch to object selection mode and make sure I'm in my move tool and I'll just click control click and drag out these uh, UV what they're called islands and you can see these these look pretty messed up those are the hands I'm just gonna delete those so that there won't be any UV coordinates for the hands at least right now and we can take a look at what silo did right away right away I can tell that uh, things aren't scaled properly and I'm not sure why that is. I mean, I want everything to be the right size so that when you when I paint textures, the level of detail is going to be similar across different portions of the model. So I might have to manually resize these different islands accordingly. The head usually I'll leave bigger so that I have more detail in the head area. But first of all, we can see that this looks like the body. We have holes for the legs and holes for the arms, and we know the holes for the legs are much bigger than the holes for the arms, but Silo tried to unwrap it the best it could, and it did an okay job. We can tell this is the leg, and this is, looks like this looks like the top of the leg down here, and this is the foot. Same up here. And that looks okay. And then these are the arms and the head. And what I'll do is just gener just just uh, lay these out pretty basically, and then I'll just resize them all to fit inside of the UV space. <coughs> UV space, excuse me. And then I'll I'll just resize them accordingly. But well, since all these islands actually look pretty good, there's absolutely no overlap. What I'm going to do is scale up the head here so it takes up more space. And I'm going to take a look at this and see the problems. Now, overall, it looks pretty good. Even the nostrils look really good. But the ears are a problem, and that's usually the way it is. First thing I'm going to do is select my UV island and then go to Modify, Mirror, <coughs> Calculate Symmetry. And maybe it's another option. Uh, symmetry mode toggle all right so ca calculate symmetry I guess I had to do it twice you'll notice that when I select an edge on this side it's also or an, or a vert vertex it's selected on the other side I want to do that so that I can modify one side of this and it's gonna do the same thing on the other what I find that move and smooth I use most often, so I'll switch to my paint displacement. Uh, now it looks like a bug. Shoot. Looks like there's a bug with the move tool in the UV space in this version of Silo, which it wasn't in the last version, but I'm using a beta. So we'll just avoid using the move tool and I'll just use the smooth. So smooth, you can just paint and it'll just take all that overlap out of the ears. Now with move, I would paint this ear out so that it would take up more space and be more proportional but for now we'll just leave it at that and now we can save our model as an OBJ out of silo and then we can go into Maya and check out our UV map here we are in Maya we just imported the OBJ from silo and if you select it you can see in the UV texture editor that uh, UV show up exactly like they did in silo and you can modify UVs here and then take your model into ZBrush for painting or any other app and that about does it.